Hello, my name is Mark Matorchwich from Markham3D.com and NonsiesandDragons.com. In this section, we're going to talk about uh, dynamic lighting and more specifically how to walk up to an object and let it glow, leave the object, and it dissipates. So, oh, beautiful. Let's get into it. So, at the moment, all we've got to set up is we've got a box, uh, we've got our trigger box or our collision box, and I've just picked the ground grass material. So in the construction script, so first thing we've got to do is create a dynamic instance. So dynamic material instance on the static mesh component. Get over there. So from here, I'm just going to right click on this value and promote to variable. And let's just rename that over here to um, dime coal. Sure, whatever. And now let's come over into the event graph. Well, actually first let's recreate this material. So all I wanna do is be able to create a emissive material. So I'm gonna go over into our light red that we created earlier, well, in one of the other um, sections, select this whole area. I'm gonna control V it, put it in here. I'm going to right click convert to a parameter and I'm just gonna call this M coal. And we've got to remember that one and I'll bring that up into a mess into the emissive color. And what I will do is change this to black because I want by default to be nothing. So it's just gonna be black. So it's not emitting any light. Let's come back into our event graph over here. We'll just compile that just for funsies. So on, let's get our collision comp on begin overlap. I want to timeline because I want to slowly build it up. And what we're going to do is I will just double click on that now and let's create just the one timeline, right click, add. So at zero, zero, the value is a zero and add key at one, whoops, sorry, at one, the value will be one. And I'm just going to make the length one second. Compile, let's go back into the event graph. From here, let's bring in what we want to set up. So we're going to set, the, we're going to get the information from our dime call, which was in our construction script. And from here, we'll get the vector parameter value. Let's, sorry, set the, set the vector parameter value. We want to be able to update and we want to change the value to a, an orange. Beautiful. Oh, you jerk. Let's do that again. Orange to orange. Okay. However, compile save. If we do this now, nothing actually happens. This is because we didn't specify what parameter we need to update. So if we come back into the grass coal, uh, grass material, we call this M coal. So if I go now, M coal, compile, compile, play, it just turns on. So that timeline is not doing anything. That's because we need to be able to use this little track button here. So we need to expand that into make color. And as you can see here, we've got actually red, green, blue, and we're only touching the red value. So if I just bring that up into here, compile, play, we'll see after a second it goes red, but that's not what we want. We actually want a bit of an orange, even though it is a little bit orange. Um, if we come back into what the color value is, so let me break this line, come up here. Let's go to this orange. We can see that we've got one and we've got green is 0.7 and blue is zero. So if I go, sure, whatevs, let's reconnect that. I'm going to come into this timeline, double click, double click to bring in that timeline. I'm going to rename this track to be red. I'm going to create another float and this will be our green channel. Let's add a key at zero, zero, and let's create another key at time one. That's gonna be about 0.7. Compile, let's go to the event graph, and now we've got red and green. Compile, play, and now we should have a little bit more of an orangey color. Sick. However, when we leave, nothing happens. Very simple fix. So if I come into collision comp, on component end overlap, I wanna play this in reverse. Compile, play. Go in, lights turn on, go out, Lights turn off. Beautiful. 
if you want to see more tutorials like this, I normally do an update probably every two or three days. So make sure you hit subscribe and yeah, see you soon.